Hello YouTube, welcome from my stoop, today in my kitchen. Seeing that I'm going to do a video today on, uh, on how to make bultong, I'm going to put the pipe down for now, uh, not to make tobacco bultong. So I hope you can hear me well and uh, that you will be able to see also properly. I should have asked my daughter to be the camera woman for me. Um, so what you, need, what you would need is uh, bicarbonate of soda. I'll give you the, the amounts in the, in, in the description below. Uh, a cup of red wine vinegar, halfly crushed coriander, whole coriander but just halfly crushed, uh, you, you can see there uh, just a little bit crushed, uh, brown sugar, rocks salt or uh, coarse sea salt would also work and there is a piece of potato of course and uh, also just slightly crushed black pepper. So you start by just throwing all these ingredients together uh, in a bowl and mix them. The bicarbonate of soda is optional because it's not really uh, making a difference in terms of the taste, it's just there for uh, to soften the meat. Uh, and again, you can also uh, add on to the amount of, uh, of coriander. Um, if you like more coriander, that is fine. So just mix these nice together. You can also buy pre-packed bottom spices. Um, if you are interested in that, I can order them and uh, put them on my website for sale. So you make sure that everything is well mixed together. And then I think the nice thing about bottom is there's, there's not only one way of doing, of doing it. Um, you will find that there's different ways people do it differently. Um, and they're all fine. So there's the mixed spices. So I can put these away for now. And then I've got uh, three kilograms of, uh, of topside uh, beef here. Very nice piece of beef topside. And you cut it along with the grain with a very nice sharp but uh, well, it, it, that depends also on your uh, on your liking. But let's say about two to three uh, centimeters. Uh, so you cut yourself pieces like that. Looks like my uh, I should have used a. Let me see if uh, this one will not. Let me stay with this one. Right, um, so I'm not going to go through the whole piece now, just uh, these two so you can get an idea. I will do the rest. Uh, and then you just take a little bit of, of, uh, of your vinegar and just uh, rub the, the, the meat with it. A 
like this. And also on the other side. Right, and after you've done that, then you will need a, a plastic or a stainless steel container. I've got this uh, stainless steel container. Uh, and you just lay, before you do that, then you, 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 there's different ways that you can do it. You can uh, either do it this way, or you can uh, do it this way, or you can do it this way. Doesn't matter. Make sure that your meat is well covered with, uh, with the spices. Lay them in your container. And then you you, you will, um, with, with all the meat cut, you will then pack them in here and, uh, and just pour some of these vinegar in. And uh, I'll show you later how it looks like when I'm finished, but then it, sta it stays for, uh, uh, you, you let it stand for a while, but uh, I'll come back to you in a minute. Hello YouTube, I'm back. Uh, I've switched the container to this one because uh, it turned out to be not that much or that many uh, uh, pieces. So that's how it will look uh, at this stage. And uh, then I cover it with uh, finger wrap. And um, Right, remember that uh, the amount of, of fat, uh, you can take off fat as you wish um, or leave it on. It depends on, on whether you, the doctor allowed you to eat uh, white meat. <laughs> but uh, if you want to cut it off, that's fine. So this will now go into the refrigerator for 12 hours. And then uh, it will go to to the garage for uh, for drying, which I will show you in 12 hours' time. Thank you for watching. I'll come back to you later. Hello, YouTube. I'm back. 12 hours later, and uh, there is the the bottom. Um, so you, you try and get these, or if you can't get them, you can just use a, a wire, build the, bend them in an S, uh, or a paper clip that you bend over. And uh, what you then do is just like that. And, uh, And then you uh, you're ready to hang them. So you put it at the top. And uh, now the question is where to hang it and how to hang it. I will show you now. I've already hanged a few. So, uh, excuse the, the messy garage, 
but uh, that's where, where I hang my biltong from mesh wire from the uh, ceiling in a cool dry place and you can switch on a fan to uh, keep it uh, dry and cool. This time now is the most dangerous time because it is uh, still wet and, and flies can come and uh, enjoy the, the meal. So it's very important that it's cool and dry uh, and that's why, where a fan can help because if the, when the layer, a dry layer has been formed then it's fine um, in terms of insects and the pieces must not touch each other as they hang there. So yeah, um, that is how you make bultum. So I hope uh, you will be motivated to make some, some bultum. Um, it's not jerky, it's a very, very delicious South African cuisine. Thank you for watching and uh, I'll get my pie back soon. Um, see you later. Okay, YouTube, so uh, that is the end of my uh, making Biltong video. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, it's the first time that I've done something like that. So I hope it's, uh, it's okay. Um, but yeah, that is uh, how it is and thank you for watching. And uh, typical to Biltong. I'm having a Kaiser this morning, so enjoy your day and uh, see you soon. Thank you for watching and subscribe. Bye-bye.